Hey guys, it's AC Cadaf, and welcome back to Starloft. So we have some mail, and as you saw, that the mayor is here, and he wants to talk with us. So we have to go check it out. And Wolfgang sent us a letter. So let's see what it says. So we got the present, and then it says, Thanks for celebrating my birthday with me the other day. I could tell you put a lot of thought into my present. You know, it really makes me pleased as punch. Oh, well, I'm glad you liked it. Let's see what he gave us. Um, oh, a harpsichord. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh, whose house was I playing that in? Was that at my sister's town? I can't remember. Um, all right, well, let's go put this in our house. Um, and I don't know, I'll just put it like right here. <laughs> and we can just play awesome music randomly. Um, Alright, so let's go check on our town, and we're going to go fishing today, and I'm going to catch fish for the Harvest Festival, because um, that is... Oh, 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 hold on! Look at our trees! We have orange and perfect apple, and then here's our lychee, which will grow soon. Um, as I was saying, um, we're going to go fishing today, and we're going to catch stuff for the Harvest Festival, and we have to set up our town ordinance. Um which is something I will discuss when we get to Town Hall. But let's go- Oh! Oh, here's another villager in a really good spot. Oh, Ken, no! I don't want him! Oh, he's a chicken. You know I don't like chickens. <laughs> um, alright, well, we can still deal with him. He's fine. We got a mushroom. Alright, so Tortimer should be down here by the dock. Right here! Here he is, Tortimer! Oh, cat! You came just as I hoped you would! Say now, what did you want to see about? Hmm. Oh, that's right, that's right. I was going to tell you about the tropical island. The tropical island where I live is a resort where summer is endless and the people from visit from all over the world. That's why it doesn't matter if it's winter or what because you can get you can get by with a single tropical shirt. On the island, there are lots of rare things you just can't see any other places. You can relax on the beach or party hard by going on a tour. It's truly paradise. The boat that takes passengers to the island arrives at this dock. I already told the person in charge to make stops in this town starting tomorrow. Well then, work real hard as mayor. Let's meet up soon on the island. Hehe, <laughs> Horf. So we can actually visit the tropical island and there will be a boat here tomorrow. Um, but we're not going to go tomorrow because tomorrow is the Harvest Festival. Super excited. Um, okay, so let's go to Town Hall and get this ordinance set up because our town is looking horrible. And by horrible, I mean really dirty. Um, oh, here's another mushroom. Let's get it. Good. I don't have a lot of mushrooms. Um, and I need them for the Harvest Festival tomorrow, like I said. And, okay, so let's head into Town Hall. Oh, I wish we didn't get Ken. I don't really like the chickens. But, I mean, I guess we could have had a worse chicken. He's pretty cool looking. All right. So, let's go sit in the back. And here she comes. We finally get to do this. Ah, Mayor Cat, you came at a great time. Your town development permit is here. You can finally get to work. As mayor, you have two primary ways to influence the growth of Starloft. The first is ordinances. By enacting ordinances, you can change the... Oh, I didn't read that. <laughs> of course, you can just enact any or old ordinance you feel is an enacting... In acting, that would be make you a dictator. Um, so instead, you're able to choose from an ordinance of a list provided to you. Try to choose ordinances that would match up with the lifestyle of Starloft's residents. Now, I know which one we're going to do. Um, oh, and we can start public works projects, finally. And we can build cool features and stuff like that. And um, villagers will request stuff. Um, Alright, so let's go sit back in our chair. And we'll pick an ordinance, and it is tw tw $20,000. Um, so let's do ordinances. Okay, let's get working on ordinances. At the present, there are no ordinance in effect in Starloft. So to enact an ordinance, it is um, 20,000 bells. And they can be canceled for free. So let's go. Let's do this. All right, so there are a couple of um, 
options to choose from. We can have a beautiful town, which means none of our plants will wilt, everything will grow, and you don't have to water everything. Um, an early bird town is when all of your villagers and shops open up really early in the morning. I don't know what time that is. Um, night owl is when all of your um, shops stay open for longer. And a wealthy town means when you sell stuff, you'll just get more money for it. Um, but I always go with the beautiful town because I love not having to water my flowers and having tons of flowers. So we're going to do a beautiful town. And I see it. I can see it now. A town where flowers live forever and weeds hardly grow. Oh, no garbage and cockroaches. That's your grand vision for Starloft, right? Exactly. Aw. All right, so you want to sign the Keep Starloft Beautiful Ordinance into law? Let's do it. Yay! Oh, we have 19,000 bells, so that's still good. Um, and I can look at the public works projects right now. Um, and... But I don't know which ones I want to pick yet, and I want to kind of look at my town and decide in a better way than just, like, going randomly. Um, so here are all of the, um, suggestions from our villagers. We have a lot of cool ones. Oh, a campsite. Definitely want that one. Um, that might be the first one I do. In my other game, the first one I did was a yellow bench. And probably because it was the cheapest, but I'm not going to do one right now. Um, and now let's go fishing head off and catch some um, fish for tomorrow and I left a link a couple of videos back to a guide for the harvest festival so if any of you want to check it out I think it's like part four I left it um, all right so let's get our fishing rod out and we can get going all right so let's equip there we go all right so we're gonna go now, you can fish in the river, I mean in the ocean, which I already mostly did, so I'm kind of going to focus um, in the river because villagers will ask for black bass and carps and all this sorts of stuff, so that's what we're going to catch right now. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited for Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorite holidays, and I just love that I can go to get together with all of my um family and siblings and cousins and it's my favorite holiday probably one of my favorites next to christmas and by the way it is snowing so much outside right now and i'm so excited i love snow so much um but yeah you guys should tell me what you do for thanksgiving i usually go over to my grandparents house um and we usually make the turkey me and my mom and um we used to have my pup up actually would um, hunt the turkey, but you know, we were like, eh, maybe not the best idea. So um, we just buy it from the store and we prepare it and we make this awesome gravy from, um, from the turkey. Like after you're done cooking it, there's like juices left over and it's super good. And then my dad usually makes um, sweet potatoes and we don't do marshmallows in our sweet potatoes because that's just too sweet but he like puts brown sugar on top of them and they're so good oh my god and then we have like leftovers from thanksgiving of the sweet potatoes and i just eat them for breakfast and it's like heaven in a box it's amazing um my um oh no well i guess i could have watered that but whatever <laughs> um and then my grandparents usually make um oh what do they make um, my grandparents are super into like growing their own stuff, um, like fruits and vegetables. So they make their own cream corn from corn they made. And that is so freaking good. <gasps> oh, what is this? A barbel steed. It just needs a barbel saddle. Wow. <laughs> oh, hi, Coco. Let's talk to you. So cute. Hello, cat. You seem chipper as always. So what's in your mind? Um, what a chat. Do you think we could go hang out at your house? I know it's quite sudden, but I'm really curious to see the inside. Um, is she gonna want to go now? Um, oh yeah, she wants to go now. Okay, well, yeah, I guess she can come over. Um, but yeah, so, um, what I was saying, um, for Thanksgiving, um, it's just really fun because even though all my cousins are younger than me and all of my siblings are, I get to, like, sit with the adults and just talk and it's really fun. Um, we don't usually... Well, and then, <laughs> after Thanksgiving, we set up our Christmas tree on Black Friday. Um, and Well, we have a fake tree, so we build our tree, and I love that. I don't know if I would like a real tree, because you got to clean up all the pine needles and stuff like that. Um, but, 
yeah, it's still fun. All right, hey Coco, thanks for inviting me. Aw, well, if I play this music, will she clap for us? No? Are you not entertained? Yay, she clapped for us! Oh my god! There you go. That's just for you. <laughs> How lovely, what comfortable place to live. I bet you relax as soon as you step through the door. Well, kind of. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff to do. I mean, you can play, like, pool. You can play the harpsichord. Eat some oranges. <laughs> watch TV and then sleep. So, oh wait, let's not do that. Um, usually when villagers come over, I just, like, sit here for, like, a minute. And then I leave. It's kind of mean, but... Sorry. I'm gonna get going now, okay? Oh, she wants to watch TV. No! No, I want to watch TV with you! There. We we're watching, um, I used to pretend this show was Hannah Montana when I was little. <laughs> um, because that blonde chick came up, her, and I thought it was Hannah Montana, and I was crazy, although I was really little, so. Anyway, we gotta get going, Coco. Hmm, is there somewhere I have to be? I guess that's my cue. Doing. Yeah, it is your cue. We have to go. Sorry. Alright, I'm gonna actually head over to the Able Sisters and Tom Nooks. And we're gonna check out what they have. Um, let's see, what do I have? Well, I have a barbel steed, a black bass, and a carp. And I think my villagers will ask for um, black bass and a carp. That's what I was reading up on it. And they have to ask you for ingredients or um, fish. And they give you ingredients in return to make the dishes. So I think I'm doing this right. Um, let's go. I'm going to give him the barbel steed because I don't really need it. Oh, hey, I bet she wants one of our fish. So I'd really like to give you, oh, a rubber tree. Well, thank you. I guess. I mean, free stuff. Why not? Thanks for accepting my gift, cat. I hate to throw things away. Ooh la la. Aww. Um, we have no letters. It's supposed to snow soon in the game. Um, I'm gonna go put stuff in my, um, what is this called? Oh, uh, dang it. I can't remember. Cabinet? Drawer? Locker. Locker. So I have all my fish in here for, um, for the harvest festival like i've been saying obviously um and i'm gonna put these in there no go in there okay um then we can put this and there we go and we're gonna put our rubber tree and okay there we go i just sorted out my pockets because i like to have organized pockets <laughs> um but yeah so Thanksgiving is just a really fun time for me and a really fun time of year and of course who doesn't like to eat um, but if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving then tell me what to do below probably oh my goodness okay so we have a new shop being built and I don't know it might be built tomorrow I have no idea but look at this Yay! So exciting! Okay, so let's go. I don't even know how that happened. I didn't buy anything. <laughs> um, let's go see what he has in his shop. <gasps> oh my gosh, he has a little TV! I kind of want this! Well, we already have a TV. Hmm. We'll just get this, because we need to buy stuff from him. A washer and dryer. Yes, we'll take it. Yes, thank you for your purchase. So shiny. Yes, it is. Alright, so let's get out of here and see what... Mabel and Sable have. I have to talk to Sable, too. I haven't done that. I haven't been on at all today, actually. And, all right, so let's go head over here. I can't wait till all of our shops are built. And also, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed um, going to my sister's town. I'm sure she'd love to hear that. I'll have to tell her that you guys loved her being here. Because um, a lot of you commented, you're like, oh, we love your sister. So I was like, oh, I have to tell her that. Um, I'm Mayor Cat, is it? Oh, she's talking to us. Hey, what gives, sis? You almost never recall a customer's name. Don't say things you don't need to, Mabel. Be respectful. Please feel free to take a look around. Don't mind us at all. Yay! So she's talking to us, and soon we'll have this awesome item right here. Um, let's see. What are these? I kind of want to try them on. Oh, blue warm-up pants. Let's try them on. Are they going to match our clothes? Um, kind of. I'm going to wear them out. Yes. Yay! We need different shoes, though. <laughs> um, but our hair matches our shoes, at least. We don't have pink hair. Um, let's see what she has over here. Um, oh, she has glasses. That's cute. I kind of like this. A moon hairpin. Um, let's try it on. She's gonna buy tons of stuff. Yeah, let's get this. This is cute. We'll wear it on. We'll wear it out. Oh my god. 
I want to try this on. What is it? A samurai wig? Let's see. I'd like to try it on. Oh my god! Ew, that is so funny! Oh no, we're not gonna buy that. We don't want to be bald. <laughs> How do they even get their hair to stick up like that? I have no idea. That's crazy. Ew. <laughs> ew, what if you just saw someone like- I shouldn't keep saying ew because I know it is historical and people can still wear it, but not for me. All right, so let's go keep fishing a little bit more. And I feel like I need more fish, but I have no idea. Um, I know you just need at least one of each. Uh, no, a four of each or something like that. Um, of the river fish or something like that. But I don't know. That seems like a lot. And I don't, there's only four dishes you can make. So yeah. Um, all right, let's catch this fish. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh my god, the snow is just coming down. It's so... Oh my god, it's awesome. I love it so much. Alright, so we caught that fish before. Nothing new there. Um, oh. No, no, I'm not gonna dig that up. Let's go see what Red has. I don't know what's real and what's not, so I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything. But if I can tell if it's real or not, then, um... I will, but there are guides to get this to, um, to buying stuff. Uh, so let's see. Well, ain't that lovely. Always happy to meet fellow art lovers. This is Red's Gallery, where we specialize exclusively in the finest art you'll ever see in this world. This is your one and only chance to buy a piece of famous art for a bargain that can only be crazy. But of course, since all of these are only really rare items, they sell only one item per customer. And that is because only one of the items are actually right. So let's check it out. I don't know if I can tell. Hmm. I see. I There are guides you can use. Um, I feel like this isn't real because those are like bat wings. Um, let's check this out. I've never even seen that one in my life. Um, oh my gosh. These are all so weird. Let's see. Whoa, I see you got your eye for a proper painting. Let's see. Um, I'm going to buy this one. And, um, hmm. If it's not real, I'll just put it in my house. And, okay, so he said it's a shock, so I have no idea if that's right. But we got a proper painting. And he will mail it to us. And I hope it's real. I hope it's real. I love, um, I hope, I love, um, decorating my art exhibit area. So I hope it's real. Praying. Um, Alright, so let's just go fishing for a little bit more, and then I will end this episode off, um, because I don't want it to get too long, and I don't see any more, um, oh, I'm just thinking about those sweet potatoes now, <laughs> now, um, all right, let's see. Um, if any of you want a specific public works project, you can leave that below, and I'll see if I can, um, I'll see if I like it in the town. So I'm definitely building another bridge because it's annoying having to walk across um, another bridge all the way over there. So I'll probably put it like right here um, or up here, somewhere around here. Ooh, a mushroom. Oh, it's a furniture item. Um, I thought it was a mushroom. It's a mush table. Do I already have that? Oh, no, I have a mush end table. All right, well, let's go see what this looks like. And maybe I will keep it and put stuff on it. I can put my fish on there. Um, alright, let's set this up right here. Mush table. Let's see. Oh my god, it's huge! <laughs> um, I can put that somewhere. Let's put our rubber plant, our rubber tree. Um, that's not our rubber tree. Let's, um, no. We're gonna put, oh look, a commercial came on. Oh, that's so cute. I thought she, oh, I put it in my, I'm so dumb. Oh my god. I put it in my, um, my <laughs> pockets or whatever that's called. Um, alright, so let's push, push this over here. Oh, that sticks out so much. Alright, well, let's put that there for now. And then I'm going to put our table in the middle. And that could be like our giant feast table where we will eat tomorrow. Um, let's put our fish on top. That's kind of gruesome. We, we will eat fish, but um, maybe not these fish. And um, let's put our mushroom on top. And that'll be it. And we are done for now. Um, so I think this is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Thanksgiving and the Harvest Festival. Bye!